Subscribe to Software Testing Mentor channel, learn latest technologies in software testing, test automation, testing tools, and much more. Hello friends, welcome to Jira Training. This is Manish and in this tutorial we will learn about EPIC report in Jira. So before we get into details and see how we can generate EPIC report in Jira, uh, we'll understand why an EPIC report is important in any of your Agile project. So EPIC report gives you an overview or the progress of the EPIC or what all issues are there in the EPIC and what all issues have been done or, or the actual progress around that whole EPIC. So EPIC report is pretty important um, to keep track of all the incomplete issues uh, attached to the epic so it gives you an overall picture what has been completed and what has been incomplete within the epic uh, because epic cannot be done uh, within a sprint it can span in multiple sprints so that means you need to keep an eye on the epic and see how the uh, issues within that epic are progressing so that's the key reason to use the EPIC report uh, within your JIRA project. So to get started, um, you just need to log into your JIRA instance and go to the project board for which you are looking for the EPIC report. And then on the board in the left hand side, you will see the reports uh, icon. Click on the reports icon and you'll see all the different reports available in Jira. So just um, scroll down and you will see Epic Report. So what, what does an Epic Report do is it, uh, it's basically used to understand the progress towards completing an Epic over time. So that means um, it will help you to understand, it will generate a report for the Epic to, to see how your epic has been progressing over the time or with or over the sprints. Uh, this helps you to manage your team's progress by tracking the remaining or incomplete or unestimated work. So epic rep report gives you what has been completed, what is remaining and what hasn't been estimated as part of that epic. So just click on the epic report and it will open the epic uh, so at the left uh, hand top you'll see this is the epic uh, where I'm highlighting so D1 login is one of the epic if you want to change the epic you can change from this drop down and uh, in the right hand side you can see uh, the help available there how to read this chart so if you want to go through more detail so in this in this chart this is not the very very good um, chart or um, diagram to explain the epic report um, in the ideal scenario you will see that the completed story points will will uh, go up something like that and the number of issues will also progress uh, because your, your number of issues will be um, closed more and more as the time progresses within the sprint and the number of un un estimated issues should come down so uh, towards the completion of an epic there shouldn't be any of the number uh, there should be zero um, and estimated issues and all the issues or story points should be completed for the epic to to mark that ep epic as an as completed so that's uh, that's a bit of summary it shows what 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 are the total number of issues which how many of them have been completed and how many of them have uh, not been estimated uh, and then gives a bit of overview around the story points how many total story points were there in that particular epic and then how many have been done if you scroll down a bit further you will see uh, the completed issues um, the the chart there to show uh, or the table there to show how many issues have been uh, completed within that epic and how many issues are incomplete at the moment so it gives you an idea uh, what is remaining within that epic to be completed so this is uh, a bit of um, overview of the epic report so this is not an ideal chart I'll give you I'll uh, pull out an ideal um, image or how that epic report within your project will look like 
So this is how your actual EPIC report chart will actually look like. So if you see the progress of the story point completion or the issue count completion, uh, you can see very clearly uh, the unestimated uh, issues are coming down further. Um, and if there is any scope change or new additions in, in the issues, then it, it goes, um, the graph goes up for the some time and then again uh, comes down um, further. So in the left hand side, uh, under the Y axis, you see the story points. Uh, X axis is your timeline. So it, it could be you know, like sprints, multiple sprints. So your, your Epic can um, um, go across multiple sprints. Uh, and then um, in the right hand side, the Y axis is around the total number of issues within that Epic. So 184 is the total uh, story points. So um, yeah, so sorry, uh, that, uh, that gray um, line here or the gray graph, it's, it's the total number of uh, story points. So which is approximately 154, 155 um, and then uh, the blue line is the completed story point so that that one is this uh, light blue is your completed story point and this dark blue is the number of issues so your number of issues um, will uh, this as as the time progresses your issue count uh, as as it is closed it will uh, keep increasing similarly the story points will keep increasing um, as as and when you are completing the issues within that epic and this unestimated uh, number of issues should come down so at the end of your uh, epic completion or uh, finally when you are about to complete your epic there shouldn't be any unestimated issues in um, in your epic so that is uh, pretty much all about epic report in jira uh, hope you like the video please do subscribe and like. Thank you.